Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroBMX here, and welcome back with a little bit more Fantasy Star. Okay, so we're gonna head along this coast again. What do we got? Octopus, thankfully only one. That guaranteed 10 damage is really good here because of this guy's defense being sky high, like even Elisa isn't doing 10 damage. So in a situation where uh, Tylon might actually do the least damage, he's actually doing the most. Alright, got him. 64 Mesitas. Okay, an Ammonite. A single floating butthole. Ooh, wrecked the hell out of that guy. All right, two, three more anim Ammonites. Ammonite. 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 It's a funny word to me, Ammonite. It's a word that I actually first learned from video games, from uh, for Final Fantasy Adventure, actually. That's where I learned the word, Ammonite. So it was an Ammonite shore, which was basically like this. It was a shore with a bunch of Ammonites. All right, what do I... Oh, who leveled up? I didn't even see shit. All right, whatever, doesn't matter. Probably Elisa, actually, because she was due to go up. All right, another Ammonite. Floating butt pipe. Nap. Nope. 46 Masitas. Why, I didn't get very far, did I? Herrix! That's a new enemy. Doesn't seem to have a lot of health. Or a lot of defense. <laughs> I mean, it's basically a palette swap of the weakest enemy, so... Um... Okay, yeah. Here we go. Alright. Should be a pretty quick trip through this. I think left and then right. Hope I'm right on that. Oh, there's a lich. Okay, no big deal on the lich. And they're fast. They always seem to get attacks in, although that didn't do any damage. Eat me see that. Oh, and a skeleton. Yep, that cut me through. Ooh, ghouls. Three of them. First time meeting ghouls in this place. Ugh. First he does a little dance, and then he goes... Rrr. Of course, the one I killed couldn't have been the one that didn't attack, right? These guys can't do shit. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Get down tonight. You could live him with one health, really. Just push him over at that point. The fall will kill him. All right, we got him. Not bad, all right. Thankfully, the town is right here. Let's see, I believe it was just, it was this one, the one that's like not as decayed. Yep, there he is. All right, so now we're gonna use the, uh, where is it? Polymeteral. At least it took out a polymeteral. Lisa opened up the bottle and lit something that went really fast. Greetings, I am Pilot Robot Hapsby. I will assist you in the operation of any Levano brand's spacecraft. Alright, cool. He's going to be coming with us, and we're going to go back to uh, Dr. What's-His-Face there. <laughs> uh, Levino. Uh, ooh, which sucks, because that means we got to walk through the lava again. Well, we have more health than we did last time. Let 
We gotta go to Gothic. Alright, we're not making it very far. Manticores, three of them. So much of a trick, only to have to go back, you know? Kinda sucks, but that's that's how it is. It do be like that. One down. Two down, and you're done. And another fucking searchlight! Like, I really need that. Oh, Jesus. Marshes. Alright. I'm only fighting him because I'm. Ooh. Well, oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'm reasonably sure that I can kill him before he hurts me, but not so much there. We do gotta keep an eye on our health because this is taking, I think, two health per. That's a lot of marshes. Let's see if we can get out of there. All right. Okay. Let's. Uh... Yeah. Let's definitely heal. Should be more than enough to get us back to Gothic now. All right. Wow, a killer plant. Talk about weak. Dead. It's good to fight weak enemies again, right? <laughs> right, what do we got? Killer plant. Same thing. Over 21 mosquitoes. Jesus. Alright, we got a giant naiad. Okay. So I believe what I just passed uh, was not the town, that's the prison. So we don't need to go there. I think we just gotta keep going north a bit. Monster flies? You gotta be kidding me. Tylon will take them out in one shot. Like all of them. I mean, obviously everybody's killing them in one shot, but Tylon can take them all out in literally one. Of course, he's gotta be the slowest. Alright, there it goes. You're done. That was almost a pointless battle. It's gothic. All right. All right. Let's heal up before we do anything. <coughs> Nine. It's gonna cost the most for loots because you loots use magic. Oh, all right. Not non zero. Oh, perfectly healthy and twenty-five. Okay, not bad at all. Hey, keep out of my turf. Oh wait, I think I gotta talk to what's his face first. I forget where he's at though. No, that's the tool shop. That's not what we want. Shit. I gotta look around for him. Oh, here he is. Ah, oh, my little Haspy, you've come home. Excellent. With Haspy, you can pilot the Lavino through space, and just in time too. Spaceport security has gotten lighter, tighter. Go on, the Lavino is docked just outside the village. Go try it out. Now I can get past that guy. He was like, stay out of my turf. Eh. Hey, you stay out of my fucking turf. Eh. I guess I've got to do what Dr. Lavino says. Go on through. 
There it is. Where would you like to go? So Gothic is where we are. Um, Uzo is, I believe, on Deserus. Um, no, that's on Matavia. Scray is on Deserus. We're gonna go. To, uh, we want to go to Uzo. Uzo on Matavia. Let me just check the other one. Scray on Deserus. We haven't been to Deserus yet, but we're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna go to Uzo. So this is actually not that far from the town that we had been there, um, but it's not, you can't walk from Paseo to Uzo, <coughs> which is why we need to take a ship there. All right, and Alice should get her lightsaber. Oh, it might be called something different. It's a different translation, but let's look around. To the south of Uzo lies a village called Kazba. Sharif, don't like it. It looks like a dragon is holed up inside Kazba Cave. They say there's a jewel in its head. Pfft. It do be like that. Have you heard of a cloak called the Frad Mantle? From what I hear, it's really light, yet has excellent protective power. Sounds good to me. Have you heard of the Soothe Flute? Let's say I haven't. Well, this is a secret, but I went and buried one on the outskirts of Gothic Village. Don't tell anyone I told you that. Yeah, that's actually important to get him to tell you that. Antlions, no problem. You can drive a Landmaster right over him. Landmaster tank. <laughs> like from Star Fox. Alright. Did I do this one? I probably did, but let me just check. Zuzo. Village. It was a village on Matavia. Okay, so I, I love how he not only tells you the name of the town, but he, he literally has feels the need to tell you what planet you're on, in case you forgot. Pharmacy. Do you have anything I want? Probably not. Yeah, no, that's just regular ass bullshit. Definitely don't want weapons and stuff there. Like, uh, let's see. Hopefully, I have enough money. Otherwise, we're gonna be grinding. Um, okay. Oh, it is called lightsaber. Cool, lightsaber. And ooh, I'm not gonna be able to afford the ceramic shields just yet, but. I can probably sell some stuff. Oh, the problem is they don't seem they don't have like a tool shop here, do they? I might have to fly back. Um all right, well, let's definitely equip that lightsaber. That's a really good weapon. So we're gonna equip that onto Elisa. Alright. But I wanna get I wanna get two of those shields. The problem is they don't have a space to sell stuff here, so I will fly back. You know what I'm saying? I'll fly back. To Gothic. I'm gonna fly back to Gothic anyway, but I'll skip the cutscene this time. Cause I know there's at least there's a, a what do you call it a second hand shop or tool shop or whatever here. That I can sell stuff. Alright, sell. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna sell Searchlight, we don't need that. Not a whole lot, but we'll get rid of these searchlights because they have the light pendant, so. Oh, don't sell the light pendant. No, 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 we, we want that. All right, sell this searchlight. Okay, sell this searchlight. All right, the ceramic sword, get rid of that. Good money, all right. Get rid of the saber claw. Okay. More searchlights. I got so many of these fucking things. Because the manticores are dropping them like crazy. I mean, they're 10 a pop. But at the very least, not only does it add up over time, but at the very least, I will clear my inventory. We're not going to sell Hapsby, obviously. That would be bad. Another searchlight. Another search. I also have another ceramic sword from because uh, Tylon had one too. That should give me enough because I'm gonna need um, 2,800. Oh wow, that's just enough to get the two shields. So I'm actually supposed to come back and get the soothing flute, but I'm, I want to get those shields first. 
And the Soothing Flute actually gets you out of a dungeon. It's like an exit spell. So there's that. All right, back to Uzo. All right. All right, so ceramic shield and ceramic shield. All right, so let's equip those. Oh, keep hitting that button. So let's see. Equip for Elisa and, oh, no, not stats, items. Ceramic shield, equip for Tylon. Okay, we're good. All right, now let's go back and get that soothing flute. And then we're gonna come back to Uzo, go figure, but we need this thing. All right, Gothic on Palma. Okay, so it's on a tree somewhere. It needs to be anything particularly useful here. Ah. You know what, actually, I think I know where it is. I think it's, yes, there's a, it just path that ends at a tree. All right, search. Found the sooth flute, okay, we got it. All right, now we're gonna go back to Uso. I guess I could have gotten that when I came here to sell stuff. I wasn't really thinking straight. Whatever. So we're gonna head to Kazba Cave. We can't actually get to the city of Kazba, but we can get to the cave. So that's gonna be our next thing. Oh, well, I think the exit's to the south. There we are. Latavian teasers. These guys used to be a big problem, but not so much anymore. Yeah, you can't even hit Lutz, really. They can hit Meow, but Meow doesn't have very good armor right now, so... Alright, just one left. Jesus. Alright, he's dead. Lutz leveled up. Love this song. Skull Soldier, those are new. There's three of them. They don't do a lot of damage. Jesus, the encounter rate. Holy shit. All right, Skull Soldiers, again. No, there's only one this time. Like, damn. Uh, 37 Masitas. I barely moved. All right, a single Sandworm, we can definitely take that guy out. That's a pretty weak enemy. I think it's the weakest enemy you can run into on Matavia. All right, well, there's the town, or like, that's at least where the town is. Tarantula, okay. Another familiar face. These guys do a lot of damage, though, so thankfully they're easy to kill. Yeah, 
is the cave. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, here we go. So this one's a little complicated. We're on the first floor, and it's actually a very uh, straightforward path here at first. All right, so we got three Matavian teasers. There's only three floors, but there, you go up and down between them a lot. I need to see it. But thankfully, most of the paths are very linear. Okay, so this is going to bring us down to the second floor. And as you can see, this brings us down to the third floor. So, pretty simple shit so far. Um, so, let's... Uh, well, I guess we got to fight the dragon, right? Yeah, let, let's go for the dragon now, since I'm not that far from him. So we're going to go um, this way. Oh, flying, biting fly. That's a new enemy. Upgraded Scorpius. There's only four of them. He's bind. Go figure. Yeah, we can go for the dragon now, and then we'll worry about getting to the town, I guess. Okay, so from here, we go right. And then we turn left here. And then we turn left here. And then we turn right. And this is a good time to make sure that we're healed up. Uh, I'm going to have Alyssa do it, because... They're, nobody's hurt that bad, so just regular heal will be fine. Come on now. Okay. Let's do this. Dragon wise. Okay. So, yeah, this guy's an asshole. So what we're going to do is just try to kill him quickly. Um, so let's see, use fire, you attack, you attack, and you're going to use wind. Not bad. Okay, okay, now we're talking. Wind hits three times, you could see. All right, Meow is going to be on healing duties here, so let's see. Fire, okay, super heal yourself. Attack and wind. This is the first like really difficult boss. All right, good shot. Healed. All right, very good. Okay, Lutz is gonna need healing. Thankfully, this guy's kind of slow. Okay, no, you know I'll do that. Okay, so you're gonna use fire. You're gonna use super heal on Lutz. You're gonna attack and you're gonna use wind. This guy's almost dead. Ouch. All right. Okay. Fire. Super heal yourself. Attack and wind. It's my kill. We got him. All right. And we also get the carbuncle eye. Oh, and then a random encounter right then. We'll just run from that. <laughs> Go figure that. All right, we got him. Um, yeah. So the next thing is we want to get through the rest of this dungeon to get to Kazba. Uh, so to get to that, we have to get back to the first floor, but we have to get to a specific part of the first floor. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to... Yeah. Do I need to heal? Let me look at my... Uh, Meow needs to heal. Okay, let's get the hell out of this place, huh? All right, so let's turn around. Okay, I'll uh, we'll take our left here. Oh, a Herrix, no problem. I'm not gonna bother with any of the treasures because I don't think there, there's anything here that's worth getting. Ooh! No, 
Because it's all, like, either, like, crappy items that you don't need, or, like, shit that's, like, money that's, like, less than you would get from a battle. Okay, so I need to turn left, I believe, because I turned right last time. That is a dead end. Oh god, what's in this treasure chest? 100 mesitas. Alright, I kind of know where I am then. I was wrong about turning that way. More okay, four hexes. I was supposed to turn right, not left. I miscounted. So instead of turning on that, I'll go straight through because that'll put me where I would have turned right. Okay, so straight through and then no, you know, yeah, now I go right and then left. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. All right, biting fly. I'm going to run. Can't run. All right, we'll fight him. It, it was stupid. I should just fought these guys. And why am I trying to? Why am I trying so hard to save uh, resources when I'm actually doing really good? Like I did really good against that dragon. There's another dragon boss later in the game that's like way worse, but well, I don't know about anybody else, but if Tylon can attack here, <laughs> there we go. Now they're all dead. Oh, Meow leveled up. Oh, that's rough. Um, That's not so bad. Okay, so we're going to go right here. And then Jesus with the biting flies. Let's see if I can quick dash out. I don't want to fight these guys. Okay. Okay, so if we go this way... Okay, this should lead us up. Okay, so now we're on the second floor again. And this will bring us to the first floor. And it's down to the second floor now. Alright. It's pretty linear from here on out. Okay, down to the third floor. It's honestly pretty linear, once you know which staircase to go on. Okay, up to the second floor. Long ass hallway. Up to the first floor. And then, possibly out of here. <laughs> yes. And that puts us in Cosmo. Ooh. Okay, there's a hospital, we'll use that. All right, let's get everybody healed up fully. 31, not bad. All right, 44, not bad as well. Okay, Tylon, 61. And Lutz. Okay, don't have a whole lot of money here, but yeah. They said the Land Rover here, or Land Master, whatever they're calling it in this translation, that can go with the Antlines. I'm not going to get it, because it's it's occasionally good, but you don't need it to beat the game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to bother with it. This is Kazba Village. At least she didn't say, this is Kazba Village. Planet... <laughs> Planet Matavia. Alkalis Star System. A dragon was holding himself in our cave. I'm scared. Oh, he did. He hella dead. Don't worry about it. I killed the bitch. Oh, I don't need to talk to you. I just talked to you. Uh, let's check out the this stuff. I don't think we're going to get anything here, but yeah. All right, let's see. So you have landmass. It's 5,200, and I'm I'm not really in the market for it, to be honest. Like, you could get it. It lets you walk over the ant lines without having to fight them. But at the same time, it's like, it's not that good. Telepathy ball. I think it was called a sphere in the original. That lets you talk to um, monsters that haven't used a translate spell. Do you know what a power mover is? Let's say I don't. A flow mover. Oh, they're marvelous when they work, of course. <laughs> Everything's marvelous when it works. 
They can glide smooth across the top of the water. All right. There are stories told in the village surrounded by mist. They speak of some sort of legendary shield. Apparently, Perseus once used it to confront a monster. Oh, don't you remember how Tylon got turned into stone because he tried to slay the Medusa without an Aegis shield? <gasps> well, you don't have a lot to say, do you? Actually, you know what? I think I got to tell that guy that uh, I've heard of it. Let's see. Yes, I've heard of it. So you know what junk they are. I bought one on Cheyenne City on Palma. It broke down, so I dumped it in Bartivo. What a waste. So now we know there's one of those in Bartivo, and then it's broken down. So that's the information that we actually needed here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to actually stop here. Uh, we're going to be going all the way back to Palma. But first, we're going to save it, and we're going to stop. Okay. I'll see you guys real soon with more uh, Fantasy Star.